Hispanic Heritage Week. Um, Hispanic Heritage Week um, lasts a month, but since we're kind of busy with everything, we have a full week dedicated to a lot of things that um, a lot of Hispanics can relate to. So like tonight we have Latin night where we're teaching um, everyone like different types of dance, um, dances that are typically danced um, through the Latino community. And that's just like a couple. So we have merengue, bachata, cumbia, and salsa. Slowly but surely, more Latin style um, beats are getting added to uh, mainstream media. And it wouldn't be happening if we didn't start with dancing first. And once people saw the interest that was behind the dancing of the culture of Hispanics, um, it's when people really started taking an interest in music. And now before we know it, we have artists all across the United States who are constantly incorporating uh, these uh, Latin beats within their music. And we know a lot of these dances come from the Caribbean islands like Puerto Rico or the Dominican Republic and when these dances came to the United States is when uh, Puerto Ricans and Dominicans started migrating into the United States in New York and once they were in New York they started showing uh, the surrounding community uh, how to dance salsa or bachata and things along those lines and they used to use this uh, dancing styles to promote their culture in a place that they didn't really know um, would soon in the future become their home. I feel like people, when they dance, they express their feelings and then and it just looks beautiful when somebody does it right and then it look, like, looks amazing and that's like what makes me want to do it because it looks so nice and like pretty and it's, like, it like makes me happy like oh my god that's so, that's so cool I want to do it.